What's up guys, it's Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We're back with another vending collection video. Today, as you can see, we are at the barbershop location and this is the month end result for the month of March at the barbershop location. Kicking it off, we're gonna log into our Niax VPOS touch credit card reader and reset the cash box set the inventory to 100% and then we're just gonna get stocking things up. Now, as you know, as we go, if there's something that we don't stock to 100%, I will manually adjust the inventory amount in the Niax app. But we'll talk more about that when I get to that part. So kicking it off, we're gonna go right for the cold drinks. And in that top row, you can see we've got Red Bull, a cherry straw, that's just a regular cherry, uh, Tropicana Twister, and then Yellow Gatorade. This will be the last time that we stock the Tropicana Twister in this machine because we can no longer find it. Um, if you like, if you want to know what we're going to restock with, make sure you stick around because our next video from this location, you'll see our new product that we stock in this machine. And honestly, you know, <laughs> this is the month end video for the barbershop for the month of March. We've already been back to this location and shot another video at this location prior or after this one. So we've al we already have this uh, all taken place. So in the next video, you'll see what we stock in place of that Tropicana Twister. So if you want to see, make sure you subscribe to Galaxy Games 843 and hit that bell notification so you have a reminder when that next video posts. Probably be in a few weeks. All right, next row down, let's go and see where we're at. Uh, just a few cans are sold. We've got a couple more of those 16 ounce Pepsis to add. We'll add a couple Cokes, a couple Mountain Dews, but the majority of our stocking in this section is going to be down in the Sprite. Same for the next video too. Lots of Sprite being sold lately. So Sprite is definitely very popular at this location, which is pretty cool. All right, here we go. Got the Mountain Dew done. Actually, we got a couple more Mountain Dews. We'll throw those in there. It looks like we got some Cokes to add. And then like I said, we'll go down to those Sprites. So while we're doing that, guys, how is your vending business doing? I hope things are going well for you. Like, again, like I said, the weather here in South Carolina is getting warmer. Um, I know there's been parts up north that are still getting cold weather, so hopefully things get better for you soon. But put it down in the comments, guys. How are things going for you? Are you seeing sales increase yet? I'm definitely starting to see sales increase. The month of March, like I said, has been my best month yet in 2022. I'm hoping to beat that month over month over month, every month, and just keep getting better and better. We're also still looking for new locations. We're looking for new machines. We're looking to do more upgrades. Um, some upcoming videos we've got, we're going to be upgrading the snack machine at the truck accessory shop. Uh, we're gonna be putting an in one board in that. So we'll probably do a video about that. Then we'll do another video about installing the credit card reader with it and probably doing the MDB codes and stuff like that. I've had some requests for doing MDB codes. So if you'd like to see that, give this video a thumbs up and put it down in the comments and let me know. With that said, we got all the drinks all stocked up. It's time to move up to the snacks. And starting off on that top row, we're going to do some of those sour cream and onion chips, which are pretty popular here. We're going to do more of the regular chips, Cheez-Its, pretzels, anything that needs done on the top row. Then we'll move down to that next row. Um, and, and I do want to say, make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video. We're going to be giving a total amount collected for this machine for the whole month with coins, cash, and credit cards. So we're going to post that at the end of the video. So make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video. All right, guys, look at this row. Plenty sold out. We've got uh, Famous Amos sold out. We've got the barbecue chips sold out. Some of the Takis have sold. Some of the cheese doodles have sold. Not too bad. I'm just logging in. I'm going to do some uh, some manual updates in the Niax app. Let me find that Niax app. There it is. And let me, let me find which machine I want to work on. And like I said, we're just going to do some manual updates. So what we need to do is find the, the item, the product that we're looking for. And I guess I'm not doing a manual update. Yeah, I need to, I, I had to check to see which column was which. I couldn't remember which one was barbecue and which one was the famous Amos cookies. I didn't want to mix them up. So I did log into the app to check to see. And that's another cool thing too. If you if you're got a bunch of stuff sold out, you can't remember what row is what is what? The Niax app will help you like that. So here we go, stocking up the famous Amos, stocking up the barbecue chips. We're gonna add some more Takis, some more mini cookies, some more cheese doodles, all that good stuff. Like I said, anything I can't stock all the way to 100%, we're gonna update manually in the Niax app. And it's really cool, all you gotta do is go to the machine, then the product, then click on it, and then you move that little slider at the top of the, of the product uh, information page to whatever number you have stocked in the machine, and you just save it and it's updated. It's really cool, it's really cool to do on the fly works out great. So speaking of Niax, if you're interested in getting Niax for your machines, uh, we definitely have a deal working with Niax right now. You can go to shop.niax.com and, you know, buy as many VPOS touches as you like for your machines. When you're checking out, use 
the coupon code GALAXYGAMES843, and that's going to save you even more money when checking out. So again, shop.nyx.com, and then GALAXYGAMES843 as your coupon code to check out for an even bigger discount. But like I said, we're going to be doing videos with more videos with Nyax coming up soon. Um, that snack machine at the truck accessory shop, we're going to upgrade an in one board, which will make that machine then be credit card compatible. And then once we have that taken place, we'll do a Nyax credit card reader install. We'll get the MDB codes. We'll do all that good stuff. So if you want to learn more about Nyax and how to set them up and how to create a product map and all that good stuff, we can do a full series on that. Just put it down in the comments and let me know. But make sure you subscribe to Galaxy Games 843 here on YouTube. Click that bell notification so you get notified when both new videos and live streams go live. All right, here we go. I'm doing an update on an inventory. You see that slider bar at the top? Hold on one second here. Let's go back to another item. There we go. Slider bar at the top. I'm just going to slide it down because I had one less. And I'm just going to save it. And there we go. So now we've got that updated. And I'm just doing all my other checks in this row here to make sure all is good. Because again, I'm doing manual updates to the number of each item. There we go. One more slider. Slide it down to eight. Save it. And we're good to go. All right. Mrs. Galaxy Games is going to check my work here. Make sure all is good. Make sure everything looks good. We'll go ahead and put that tray away and we'll move down to the candy row and this one uh you know you, some things always definitely do better than others oh it looks like we found one more cookie there we go <laughs> all right moving down to the candy row what sold good this time looks like skittles are half gone snickers did really well um starburst did like one or two the rice krispie treats did one or two crunch bars did three or four Oreos did one or two. There we go. Yeah, Snickers, Skittles, and Sour Patch Kids are the big winners this time around, with Snickers being the major winner. Uh, and Snickers always do so good at all my locations. Do you all run Snickers in your machines? If so, how do they do in your machines? Put it down in the comments. Let me know. It's obviously really well here, obviously, because uh, you can see it's pretty low. And what's great about those is I can get those at both Sam's Club and BJ's Wholesale near me too. So I, can, I have plenty of options when it comes to buying Snickers, but um, they're not always in stock um, at Sam's Club. Uh, that's the one thing I've, I've run into. Sam's Club has been, you know, they've had a lot of things that have been out of stock lately. Lately, their Oreos are out of stock. Their Rice Krispie Treats are out of stock. Snickers have been good, but sometimes they are out. And I was just now able to get more Sour Patch Kids. Now you'll notice in the next video we come to this location, we don't, we're not able to stock the Sour Patch Kids up all the way because they came in right after I serviced this location in the next video from this location. So you, in the two videos from now from this location, you'll see more Sour Patch Kids being added. And, and I will say, I bought multiple boxes because they've been so hard to find. All right, getting everything stocked up. We've got everything candy-wise stocked up. Uh, I do need to add some quarters, but before we do that, let's go ahead and check... Yeah, I think I need to add some quarters to the coin mech. So that's one thing that happens too, especially in a machine like this. When people use a $5 bill to buy something, they get all their change in quarters, which is unfortunate, right? I don't want a pocket full of quarters when I buy something using a $5 bill. Now, I don't use any dollar coins at this location. We do have them at the laundromat, which helps. But we don't have them at this location. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that those, those quarter tubes are full because, again, when people use a five, they're going to get their change back in quarters, which, you know, it can be a benefit, though, because if I do have a pocket full of quarters, I'm more likely going to put more back into the machine to buy more stuff rather than walk around with a pocket full of quarters. So I guess there's pros and cons when it comes to taking five dollar bills like that. I think it can increase sales because, again, I don't want a pocket full of quarters. So I'm more than likely going to get like a drink along with my snack or a snack along with my drink or something like that. So it is beneficial. I'm not sure if, if you all see the same, same or similar results, but make sure you know, you've know you got options like that. There we go. All right, I think we got everything stocked up. Let's see, there we go. All right, all the quarters are full. Just doing a quick check to make sure the coin mech was clear of any jams. And I always struggle with that coin bucket. Lots of dimes and nickels, not a whole lot of quarters because the quarters always stack back up in the tubes. And you'll notice that in most of my collection videos, most of the time, the quarters are pretty light in the coin boxes. Let's check the cash next. Nice, decent stack. There we go. Total collected, again, this is for the month end of March, $305.20. That's coins, 
cash, and credit cards. So we'll definitely take 320, I'm sorry, 305 and 20 cents. There we go, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and lock the machine up and then it's time to wrap the video up, guys. Hey guys, thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're working our way to that next milestone and we need your help to get there. So if you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button, click that bell notification so you get notified when our new videos and our live streams go live. And while you're down there, please give us a thumbs up to like the video and also make sure you share our videos with your friends. All right, guys, thanks so much for taking the time to watch our videos and thank you so much for your support. We really do appreciate you all. It is time to wrap this video up, guys. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.